Hey guys, just wanted to take a minute to show you the new feature called Spectral Peaks that's been added to Reaper 5.32. Now by default, that feature is turned off. So our peak waveforms look like this. But to turn it on, we'll go to Options and go down here, Show Spectral Peaks. Turn it on, and it'll change the waveforms in our project. Some are more obvious than others, but we could also tweak the way this works. Let's zoom in on this vocal track. And basically, we're gonna see different frequencies as different colors using this feature. And you could tweak it, go into the view menu right over here, and go to Peaks Display Settings. If we choose that, this dialog opens, and we can then tweak it. We could change the gain or how high our peaks look right from here. It's not gonna change the volume of our audio. It'll just make it easier to see if your waveforms are small. Let's keep this at zero. And over here is where we turn it on and off. This is back to normal, and here we can turn it back on. Over here, we change the opacity of the effect. So if we turn it all the way down, we don't see it. Or we can turn it all the way up, and it's more dramatic. We can also tweak the colors. Let's zoom in a bit, go over here. We could tweak what color looks like what. We could drag it around over here, so the yellow is up here in the frequency spectrum, or down here by the bass. We could also adjust each frequency right here. See how the tool changes? I can then drag this around to change what frequency goes with which color. Just tweak this, change the colors by frequency. And we could also tweak the noise threshold and the variance. So the purpose of this function is to more easily see a different frequencies. Let's say, for example, we want to de-s this vocal. So we want to see our S sounds in a different color. So let's zoom over here, and let's hear where the S sounds appear. Well, I've searched the world to find a Right here is an S. So let's move the yellow over to here. Let's adjust the variance and the noise threshold so it shows up as more yellow. Move this a bit over, like that. So now the S sounds are more yellow compared to the rest of the track. So it's easy to spot them in the vocal. Well, I've searched the world. Well, I've searched the world to find a reason why. Some say that home is where your heart lies. You could. The S sounds appear yellow. Or we can make them red. If we drag them over here, now they're more red. Or pink. Or whatever color we prefer. Now, besides shifting this like this, or moving the frequencies around like this, we can also choose or create presets. So if I right click over here, we can save presets, one through 10, we call them, or use the ones over here. We can set the range to full spectrum, like this, or we could choose four octaves, three octaves, two octaves, or one octave. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna go through every color over here within one octave, which is very useful for picking out different notes in a performance. Let's go to our bass track. And with this set up as full spectrum in every octave, each note is gonna be more obvious that it's actually changing. So these yellow notes are all the same note. So each note is gonna have a different color. So as you're editing, it'll be more obvious when the notes are changing or even what note is being played. And it can look different with two octaves, three octaves, or four octaves. And again, we can still adjust the variance and the noise threshold. And by double clicking, it goes back to the default on each one of these settings. Now it could also be used for recording. So as you're recording, you actually see the different colors coming in. Let me show you. So in this project, I'm ready to record some guitar, make sure 
It's turned on here. We could adjust it right here. Let's keep it on the default for now. Going to record. And as it's recording, we can see it record in all the colors. Different colors for different frequencies. It's kind of fun and can be very useful. Now we could also have it on some tracks and have it turned off for others, as it does use CPU to have it turned on. So let's say we want to turn it off for all the tracks except the vocal. Let's select all these tracks right here, go to the track menu, track performance options, and down over here, we can choose prevent spectral peaks. That's going to turn it off for those tracks, and then we just have it on for the vocal. And we could do that for any track. Turn it back on just for this bass track. Let's right click it, track performance options, and then turn this off. And we get it back just for that bass track. So it's very flexible. And that's pretty much it. Those are the spectral peaks that were added to Reaper 5.32. Thanks. Oh!